hey guys what's up we are back again with another video and in this one we are going to be uh, looking how we can introduce uh, uh, google recapture in our basic login form authentication for the authentication purposes uh, for the user sign in so let's get started i have created a basic uh, login form for you uh, so we are just only focusing how we can introduce on the recapture part uh, so that's why I know it is looking somewhat like not much that beautiful. But anyways, we are only focusing uh, towards the recapture library for this video. And in order to install, uh, uh, in order to use this recapture library, I want you to install one npm package that is React Google Recapture. You can simply go to Google. And you can type react google recapture and it is the first link you will need to open that is react google recapture and we will be installing this i have copied it and just paste it into your terminal npmi react google recapture yeah it has been installed in just one second and now we are good to use it at our application if you will scroll down, you can see in the documentation, it is, uh, first of all, we need to import this. I'll import it on my top of our app.js file, the basic login page. And I'll copy this particular component, which is offered to us from this library, recapture. And I'll paste this uh, just after my, this, uh, this password, okay? and it is giving error because on change is currently not defined so let's declare it on top of it const on change i'm creating an arrow function and yeah currently we are not returning anything from it it's just only as so that we can uh, get rid of the errors and now if you go onto the screen hit refresh you can see that uh, google recapture has been uh, uh, visually available on our login page but it is currently giving this, uh, us the error error for site owner invalid site key so how we can get rid of this we need to uh, and you can see it is also giving in this in the console currently it is not but yeah so how we can get uh, this working so first of all you need to go into you can type react not react google recapture okay and on the first link you need to open it and click on v3 admin console when you'll click on v3 admin console it all it will ask you for the verification just select the account from which you want to authenticate i am going to authenticate with my another account yeah so over here as you can see i will i'll be going with the uh re recapture uh v2 currently because I want to include i am not a ro robot checkbox challenge there are recapture v3 as well that is related to the question and answer but i'll be going with recapture v2 this time okay and in here you need to add the domain on which you want to include your recapture for example your website name is www.abc.com and you want to introduce on that particular domain which your website is hosted you need to add that that domain in here so i'll be using that on my local host server so i'll be including only a local host okay and another one which i'll be including is also the local host port number that is 127.0.0.1 so this is the local host number and i have included it now everything is done now i'll click on submit Please specify a label name okay let me type demo if it is correct let me check yeah let's accept all the terms of service click on submit and after clicking on submit you can see that our label has been registered and for in order to make this work you need to copy this site key for you for this i'll be copying this and 
now you need to go into your application and the side key inside side key you will be pasting this inside your string let me here yeah hit refresh and you can see that react google recapture has been installed and has been included in our basic login form successfully and in order to validate through this i want you can do that as uh, you can perform all the validations in here inside the on change method you can perform all the validations for example where when user when user perform sign in as you can see when the answer is correct then you allow the user uh, to log into the application as you can see hit next it is asking for traffic lights traffic lights verify yeah you can see that it has been verified and based on this particular uh, authentication you can let your user sign in into the application so that's pretty much for all in the for this video i hope this was a very value, valuable session and definitely you are going to be uh, you'll be asked for such kind of requirements so uh, save this video for for your future references and if you like our content kindly uh, like subscribe and uh, share our all videos in our channel so thank you so much for joining me Thank you.